Hey, what's up? My name is Justin. Welcome to 65 Drums. And today we're doing a setup unboxing thing for the Roland KD-822, which is in this box right here. And if you haven't heard of this thing, it's basically the kick drum trigger from the Roland TD-50KVX. So it goes in a 22 inch bass drum, doesn't matter what kind of bass drum, just as long as it's 22 inches across. There's another version of this that goes into 18 inch kick drums, but they don't sell that separately. So unfortunately, I've noticed that it's getting harder to find these separately on the market. There's still music stores that carry them, like I found it on eBay. I think I bought this from Symbol Fusion. You can find them at Musician's Friend, but not quite as many stores carry them as used to carry them before. Maybe they need to just get a bunch more units in stock, or maybe it's being discontinued. I really have no idea, and I'm not trying to spread a rumor. But I just felt like if for some reason they're starting to go away, I wanna buy one before that happens. So let's open this up and uh, install it into the kick drum. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. I didn't know that it would actually come with a resonant head, and I'm glad it does. And I like the fact that they've got this big sheet of foam on it. It's not very thick. It's like maybe, maybe like two millimeters thick or something like that. And so this will help with this resonant head. With this one over here, the sonar one, I actually have a lot of duct tape on that and I have a ton of blankets inside of the shell to help like quiet everything. Actually, I'm not sure whether or not I'm actually gonna put this on the drum set because I like having the acoustic logo on there. Uh, I like the sonar logo, but I don't know, maybe I'll decide later on. Okay, so this is the main trigger right here. And it's a regular acoustic head with one cable. I don't even know what kind of what kind of cable you would call this. This feels exactly or similar to what kind of material they're using on the Roland KD-10. So that's the kick drum on the TD-17 line. This feels very similar to that. This is a really big box for a kick drum head. We get a drum key. These are great because I'm always losing mine, so it's always good to have more. You've got a regular um, quarter inch cable. Oh, so this thing actually comes with a drum hoop. I wonder if you have to use this or if you just can use your regular one. I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay, so this is a giant plastic plate of some sort. This looks like where you're gonna plug in the cable. This looks like the module where that funny little cable from the trigger plugs into right there. So this guy, this um, the foam piece on top of this is actually three individual pieces. And as you can see, um, you kind of have to keep readjusting this trigger after a while. And that, that top piece is just sliding around. They're all glued together, but it doesn't stick quite permanently. You can just sort of like peel it off. Okay, so I think I got this all set up. When I was watching the drum tech tutorial, it was a lot more helpful than the actual official Roland one because in the Roland tutorial, I believe they were using some sort of like spacer, some sort of like, uh, sort of the stuff that you might put around windows in the wintertime. But anyway, it's all set up and let's do a quick test. This isn't really going to be like a full review review. I'll be doing that later on. This is just to see if it works or not and just show you guys the setup a little bit as I stumble through it in real time. So this is definitely not a review video. It's more like an unboxing, a setup, and a very, very quick playthrough. Now there's only one minor complaint I have about it so far. So the price isn't really my main complaint. My main complaint is that I wish the playing surface was a little bit larger. With the kind of beaters that I'm using right now from Drum Tech, they're basically little mini tennis balls. 
they barely fit on the surface, the playing surface of this kick drum. And uh, if the kick drum shell just shifts a little bit, all of a sudden they're a little bit too close to the edge. So I feel like it should be like 25% larger. You know, it's kind of weird looking because you have like this solid black, you know, plate, this plastic plate, and then you have this small little playing surface area. It's got those things going against it, but man, this thing is very, very fun to play. And the whole loud aspect of it can be diminished if you just put a bunch of blankets inside of the kick drum shell, which I did. So as you can hear from the playing example, it's not as loud as it was if it was completely empty. So make sure you put a lot of blankets in one of these if you decide to buy it. So that thing sells for about $300 separately. If you wanna buy the version that actually comes with a Roland official kick drum shell, that thing costs $1,400 for a kick drum. Now it looks really cool, but it has the $300 guts and then a really high end shell. So yeah, you save a lot of money by buying the actual conversion package. And if you buy the 18 inch version, it's about $1,100. What a deal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a few.